Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy BB27, the SML reviewer, and welcome to the 200 subscriber special. So, and also another SML group reviews. So this is going to be my big 200 subscriber special video. Um, I just recently hit 200 subscribers. We've been growing so fast. I really thank you guys so much for all the support, and I just really appreciate everyone who's been watching consistently, and everyone who's just came to the channel over the last month since I came back. Um, from not like posting for two months almost. I it's just been it means a lot to me to see how fast this channel has been growing, and I wanted to put together something kind of special because for 100 subscribers, I don't really remember what I did. I think I did a stream for it, but I don't think I actually did a big 100 subscriber special. So I want to make up for that and do it now. So this will be the third group reviews, and this is gonna be a very special group reviews because these are gonna be four of my all-time favorite SML episodes. So as you guys may or may not know, I already did Bowser Jr.'s Midnight Snack, which is my personal number one favorite. But I have at least a hundred personal all-time favorites from Logan. So I wanted to pick four of the ones that are really close to being, like, at least these are, like, top ten episodes, top twenty episodes for me. Um, so starting off, we have SML Movies Stuck. I'm going to do a little mini review on each of them like we've done in the previous group reviews. And these are all tens, by the way. I don't, I feel like I don't really need to say that, but they're obviously all tens. They're classics. Um, and I'll kind of give the reasons why I like them and things I like about them. I probably won't, you know, go super in-depth with these, but yeah, let's just hop in. So we got Stuck. Stuck is a very classic episode for me. It's so funny. From the day it came out, I love this episode. It's a pretty simple idea. The characters get pulled into the couch, and, you know, they're stuck under the couch, basically, right? And everyone kind of, you know, Chef Pee Pee, Bowser, they all freak out. They, you know, are wondering where Junior and his friends went because they go missing, and what the funniest part is that they're literally under the couch, and Chef Pee Pee sits on the couch and, you know, doesn't hear them screaming at one point, which I thought was really funny. But the reason I love this video so much, though, is the chemistry between all of the characters when they're inside the couch. It reminds me of Peter and his friends from Family Guy, where they'll be at the clam and they're just, you know, shooting the shit and making dirty jokes and, you know, insult, like, kind of fighting each other, picking on each other. That's kind of the vibe this video has, and that's why I love this video so much, because all the stuff they do while they're inside the couch is so funny. And the stuff that happens outside the couch is also amazing. Like, it's it's weird stuff. Like, you know, Cody's mom comes over there and basically, you know, jumps on Chef Pee Pee and all that. And he's, like, freaking out. But it's funny, like, them underneath the couch are, like, listening to this happening. And they're, like, you know, Junior's cracking jokes about it and making fun of Cody. And it's just such a good video. The pacing's great. Um, I, I really like the whole, like, getting stuck somewhere, uh, idea. This is also why I like episodes like The Pantry. Whenever, you know, characters get stuck somewhere, I really think there's a lot of potential there to just focus on the characters instead of just a bunch of random goofy shit. Uh, most episodes, uh, most SML episodes don't, you know, go this direction, so I think this is a unique direction to go in. Even though Logan has done this a few times, he doesn't do it much, and I really like this style of video, but, yeah, it's a great episode. It's funny as all hell. It's a great they eat a homeless man it, it just it's consistent jokes back to back the characters are the best they shine so bright here it's also just another good example of why i love junior cody and joseph so much they just work so well together in any situation you can put them in literally almost any situation and they will work any genre too you could be like a horror themed video and they will just make it so entertaining like the nun for example which i reviewed a few months ago when it came out love that video it was a great video but this one's much better obviously uh it's a classic so yeah um moving on we got another all-time favorite obviously uh and yeah all right so now we got chef pp's restaurant this video is an absolute banger it's so funny and it's so unique too of an idea basically the concept is that chef pp you know wants to open up a restaurant because junior kind of suggests the idea to him and he opens one in their kitchen and it's kind of like an unofficial restaurant right and people coming over there, and they try to get food, right? And, you know, Chef Pee-Pee's at cooking all this good food for once. Most of the time, obviously, if you guys know the series, you know, Chef Pee-Pee's a horrible cook. This video, he's actually trying his best to please the customers and get money and make, like, a business out of this. Eventually, it gets shut down, though, because Goodman comes there and he gets pissed off about a steak, and he calls the cops over there. I, I don't know if he calls Brooklyn Guy. I think Brooklyn Guy just sees the sign on the door and is, like, it's sketched out. Um, but he basically shuts it all down because Chef Pee-Pee doesn't have a license and then he kind of gets taken away and then it's just i don't know that's kind of like the nutshell of the video but what actually happens in it is so 
funny. It is such a good video. Junior and Chef PP work together so well because it's not like older SML videos. I mean, yes, this one's pretty old nowadays, but it's not like 2014 SML where Junior and Chef PP are screaming at each other. Junior and Chef PP actually work together as like almost like friends, even though there's a little bickering between them, but they work together way better in this than like they would back then. And it's just so funny how Junior, you know, he goes there, he tries to help with the customers and serving the food, but everything goes horribly wrong and he keeps dropping things and spilling things and he's freaking out. And then when he's not doing that, he's trying to like be like a good kind of like waiter to them. And I love that too, because it's just, you don't really get to see Junior act in any way like that. And he's trying to be more professional. I thought that shit was hilarious. Um, and also just the customers. I mean, we get to see Cody's parents. We get to see Cody himself. We get to see Goodman. Uh, they don't do too much here. They do a few things. It's my very very minor flaw with the video i wish they did a little more with the customers but they did what they could and i really like it for what it is it's a great video i also love the part where goodman is burning all the money that chef pb is trying to like get from him as a loan for his restaurant um and goodman just burns sets it all on fire just burns all the money this shit is hilarious because he can just do that and you know he's a multi-millionaire he's a billionaire uh, it's just funny. But yeah, the restaurant is just so, it's just such an entertaining video. It's a video I could watch over and over again, never get sick of it. The ending is absolutely hilarious too, how they never actually made any money off of the restaurant. Cause like, you know, Chef PB's yelling at Junior, he wants him to bail him out. But then Junior's like, we didn't make any money because, you know, he's been kind of like lying to Chef PB throughout the whole video saying that people are giving up money, but they've been just grab getting free food and leaving, um, which is really funny. Cody's parents, I think, shine like super bright here. Like, they're, like, 10 out of 10. They just, they're so funny in this video compared to normal. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, Tyrone and Judith, like, they're just so funny in this for no reason. There's just stupidest shit imaginable is happening. Um, but, yeah, it's a really, really good video. It's a classic. I, it's a, obviously 10. Um... And yeah, Cody's really good in it too. Everyone's like great in this. Even Goodman. I'm good. Goodman's kind of being like a dick in it, but he's just a great character in this. And uh, I love, I love the ending. It's just so funny. Like should be screaming at Junior. It's just, it's just great. Also, the food looks so damn good in this video. This shit kind of makes me hungry sometimes. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, next video. All right, now we got a big one. The magical button you'll probably notice a lot of my all-time favorites are pretty old there's no modern videos on here although i do have a few modern day videos with the human puppets that i consider tens and i'll probably make separate reviews on them or maybe group reviews on them at some point um but most of these ones all the ones for today are going to be just the plushy videos but yeah that's just a quick side note anyways this video is a pretty big one it's definitely still very funny and memorable and it's rewatchable a lot it's a bit of a longer one but the thing that i love the most about this video is how it actually has really well done writing and it has almost like an emotional impact on the series and it, you know on the viewer obviously it's a very it gets emotional which you don't really see too often in sml at all it, you know and they bring yeah they bring back charlie which i thought was really cool um so basically the plot of it is that junior gets a magical button and I haven't watched the video in so long. He gets this magical button where he can do whatever, right? But the thing is, if whenever he whenever he like wishes for something and hits it, it kills somebody. So he keeps doing this and abusing the power to the point where eventually he starts killing it off his own family. And he just keeps doing it over and over again until all his friends are dead. And he's in an attic at some point, and he's like, he finds a skeleton of the dude who had like the magical button, and it gets really sad, it gets really dark, you know. And Junior kind of debates with himself, you know, whether he should just kill himself to bring back everybody. So that's his final wish: is that he'll, you know, he'll end his life basically to bring everyone back. And it's really sad. It's like some deep shit. Um, but the humor all the way up to that point is like 10 out of 10. Like the bickering between Junior and his friends about this whole thing where Cody keeps trying to painfully like tell Junior like, please just don't do this anymore. Don't wish for this shit. People are dying. It's just so funny because Junior keeps using the button for the stupidest shit imaginable. You would think he would use it for like money or something like that. He uses it for like mac and cheese pool, some like ice cream truck, something else. Like he keeps using it for the dumbest stuff possible. And I just, I think that's what adds to it. Like he's legitimately like, like, killing off people just for the stupidest shit like bubble gum um also joseph's great in it I, I love all the three boys here they're really funny they're actually like i think this is one of the best episodes with a junior and his friends just because there's like an actual kind of there's a more serious impact going on here rather than the goofier shit that they usually get themselves in and all of them their chemistry is just much more stronger here 
Um, and plus Junior just doing that at the end is really emotional and really like it's meaningful. You know, it's like a really meaningful moment where he kills himself to save everyone else. They eventually obviously bring him back. Um, they use the button and they have a nice little joke with uh, Logan, you know, gets killed while he's like editing the video, which I always thought that part was like hilarious. So they bring back Junior by like killing Logan basically. And then, yeah, it, it's a great video. It, the writing is really well done. The jokes are hilarious. It's sad. But it is a very, very good video. Um, and some of Logan's best work, honestly, that he's ever done. Um, yeah, that's about it. Next video. All right, for now, for the last video of today, this one is amazing. Um, we got the Bake Cell. The Bake Cell is such a classic video. It is so good. It's a bit similar to the last one, actually, in terms of length. It's a very long video, but it's so good. It's jam-packed full of jokes, good writing. Um, there are some annoying bits, I guess, but it all works together so well in this video. So the plot is basically that Joseph gets injured and he, you know, has really expensive medical bills that you need to pay. So they're coming up with ways to, like, oh, how can we raise the money, right? Because they really want to, like, save him. So they come up with a bake sale and, you know, Chef P it's a good idea at first, like, Chef Pee-Pee's helping them with it, but then eventually they get Chef Pee-Pee. Junior does dumb shit and gets him injured too, so now they have two people they need to get, like, money for. And, and the thing I love about this video, you'll notice right off the bat, everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong in the funniest ways, and it's so well done. It's mainly because of Junior's stupidity, but, like, Cody desperately trying to help and also making little mistakes himself makes it so much funnier, and, like, they get so mad at the point where Cody's literally screaming at him, you know, his glasses are broken, we get to see his eyes. This is also one of those rare episodes where you get to see Cody's eyes for the entire, like, the bulk of it, which usually never happens. It's it, only, like, a one-off gig whenever they do that, but because everything's going to shit, they just, like, everything goes to shit like you get to see that happen i think that's so funny it starts off so simple with them just trying to bake cookies but then it gets to the point where junior is using some of their like funds to buy cookies from the store and like cody freaks the fuck out at him he's like telling him now they're more in debt because they already got all these medical bills it's just so good the writing is so well done the pacing is great the jokes are top tier the chemistry between just junior and cody it's very similar to the pantry where junior and cody fight a lot yeah but the jokes are great I think it works a little bit better here because they're not just stuck in one room. They have a little more going on with the medical bills and the cookies, right? Um, and I just think that's so funny. Like, Junior and Cody just shine here. Um, Joseph and Chef Pee, Pee aren't really in the video besides the beginning. There's a couple little uh, jokes where they'll, like, change the voice. I thought that was pretty funny when they change the voice for Cody or Brooklyn guy. Because, like, Pablo can't really do both at the same time with his arms. Like, it, the, if you watch the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's, it's like, a funny little gig they put in there. But, yeah, um... How they actually end up, how it actually end up, forgive me, oh my god. Okay, I can't speak, apparently. <laughs> how it ends up actually getting fixed is they get the money through, like, this loan shark, I think it is. Like, I haven't watched the ending in a little while. Um, Actually, hold on, give me... Okay, they get the money from Jeffy, actually. Um, he has, like, a shit ton of money, and he gives them mon the money, and then they, like, say, you know, they heal up, Uh, they get, they pay off Chef Pee Pee and Joseph's medical bills, right? But then more bullshit happens to where Junior gets injured and then Cody and Joseph need to go start baking cookies. I love the ending too because they went through so much to get that money. They went through so much bullshit with the cookies and all this stuff leading up to getting the money from Jeffy just for Junior to instantly get injured from some dumb shit and then they have to go bake more cookies. I love the ending. It's so stupid but it's so funny. Um, God, there's just jokes after jokes too, which is why I think it shines a lot more than a regular SML video. I just think everything's so top tier with this one. And, um, yeah, that's why it's a classic. So that's my little mini reviews for these four episodes. I didn't go super in depth with them, but I tried to, this video is a bit longer one. Uh, but these are some of my all-time favorites just because I think everything works well here. The plot is like really good. Writing's really good. Jokes are really good. Chemistry between the characters are all really good. And there's nothing annoying. Even Jeffy in this video, which you, you know, you guys know I don't really care for Jeffy. Don't really like him. Jeffy is funny as hell in this video because he's just loaded with money and he actually ends up helping them. I think Jeffy is great in this video, even though I don't like Jeffy. And you, you guys probably noticed all these videos are Junior and Friends related videos. Those are some of my all-time favorites. Like, a lot of the Junior and Friends are always going to usually be my favorites. Um, that's not to say there's no good Jeff.
Jeffy videos. There's a couple 10 Jeffy videos. Yeah, there's a couple classics for Jeffy, but it's not as much. You won't see it from me, from me a lot, at least. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit, you know, dragged on. But uh, yeah, again, thank you for 200 subscribers. It um, means a lot to me. We've come such a far away with this channel with only just a few months. I started this thing back in August. I didn't even have enough subs to stream off my phone. And then somehow in one month, I had a, like 50 and I was able to just start streaming. And that, you know, was big for me because I never like thought the channel would actually grow that fast. But not only did it get to 50, but like... By November, it was at 160 subscribers, and it kind of got stuck there because I stopped posting for a while. But as soon as we came back, this thing just blew off. Like, we're over 200. Um, my, some of my more recent videos are doing really well, too. My streams are doing good. The SMR video, like, over a 1,000 views. Like, what the hell? It's been great. So, yeah, I really appreciate everyone who subscribed here, the new community, and all the old, uh, all the other fans who, you know, have just joined. Um, I really appreciate all you guys, and, uh, yeah, thank you a lot for that. So, yeah, like, subscribe. It's your boy, Blader. And... Peace out. Take care. Stay lit.